So the wonderful tune is uh, traditional music, animation, puppetry and storytelling show and it's based on an old folktale from the 1900s and it tells the story of a lovely old lady Maggie and her son Morris, the king of all the pipers and monster, who travel around the country playing at festivals and dances but one day they become separated um, when a, a mermaid comes from the ocean and takes Morris away so the, the story is about uh, Morris and Maggie reuniting. I've been working with a wonderful Icelandic uh, animator, Tori, and uh, we've been corresponding over the last six months or so to try and, I suppose, embed animation in the story um, and, and thread it through the story to really, to really lift it into a different place. So it's bringing those elements of, of live traditional music together. We have uh, the wonderful puppeteer and set designer Emma Fisher who is puppeteering uh, crabs and, and the old lady Maggie during the show and along with Tori's animations and Sebastian's lighting design. I suppose it's bringing together those different elements to create I suppose a really rounded um, music and theatre um, experience for, for very young children. So in, in the original story, uh, which is called The Wonderful Tune, um, which was collected in the, the late 1800s, there are some really lovely uh, old tunes and songs that are mentioned in the story itself, such as the Hens Concert, uh, which is a really gorgeous march. So we've taken three or four of those tunes that are mentioned in the original story and brought them to life um, again in the show itself. So traditional music is really core to the show um, but I've tried to think of it in, in a way that can be connected into the animations and connected into the puppetry and um, trying to bring it to another place to really engage uh, young audiences and, and really try and draw them in to enjoying traditional music 